square dance club and class. I came because two of my friends were going and they were like, oh, you've got to come. It's a lot of fun. You just got to be there. It's a blast. And um, Joel's friend brought him. Same reason. That's right. Although he, he was a little bit upset with me. He said, well, you know, I, I, I want to meet new people is what his thing was. And I met Fred. And well, and my friend was not exactly thrilled the fact that he didn't meet anyone. So it's like, you know, so. But yeah, that's, we met there. Gosh, that was eight years ago. Um, and that started, I think that, that began um, just getting to know each other at that point. Uh, you were living in one part of the city and I was living in another. And uh, the irony is that we have not gone, we have not squared out since that class, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was very nervous. I was very nervous. I didn't know whether I was going to be able to speak the lines. You know, <laughs> if I, am I going to be able to say it right? You know, am I going to drop a word like a verb or something that's really important? The contract of marriage is most solemn and is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Please remember that love and loyalty and understanding are the foundations of a happy and an enduring home. No other human ties are more tender and no other vows are more important than the ones that you are about to pledge. You know, a lot of people go through this and these are pretty heavy duty words. I mean, to the process I was going, through illness, through death, you know, all these things. And that this is, it's a contract being thrown at you and this is it, you know? Yeah, I was nervous in a way. I was going, gosh, this is it. I mean, I was nervous because on one hand, it is, I thought to myself, oh, this doesn't change a thing. But on the same token, I thought, wait a minute, I am now absorbing, as is Freddie, this thing that a lot of people do. And here we are, this is it. And if you're going to get cold feet or I'm going to get cold feet, well, my mom is was widowed and and uh, married again. Now my mom was, she's interesting about it. I, at first she said, well, I mean, congratulations, of course, I'm happy for you, but she didn't quite understand what it meant. And I said to her, I, this is more of an affirmation of commitment. And no, I mean, I don't, I didn't do this to, to ridicule anyone. I did this because it, it was one thing that we believed to be true. We're, we're committed to each other. I give you this kiss. I give you this kiss. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my constant faith. Of my constant faith. And abiding love. And abiding love. With this kiss. With this kiss. I thee wed. I thee wed. A little kiss. I never thought I'd see it in America. I never thought I'd see it in America. Um, but I'm so happy that it did happen. You know, I'm so happy that American couples had a chance. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the city and county of San Francisco and the state of California, I now pronounce you spouses for life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Almost cried at my own wedding. <laughs>